Hey everyone, Edit here and welcome to devlog number two. Since I made my last video about a week ago, I've been rapidly going through a lot of changes in the game. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the new perspective in the game. We switched from top town, top town, top town to third town. It's more fun now. So I'm really excited to show you guys this third person camera view. It's honestly so cool to see the game up close, especially because everything still looks good. All the lighting and models and stuff still work out really well from this perspective instead of top down. And to be honest, it, it makes more use of the silhouettes of things and shape of them. Ignore that up there. That's going to be the shop, but I'm not going to show you what it looks like. Take the jump pad and we can fly to the level selection area. Right now I just swapped this portal out for one of the levels I've been working on, and that's the one I wanna walk you guys through for this devlog. All right, let's go. So this is the first kind of dungeon-y themed level. I wanted to make a first level that I could kind of call complete that used a lot of the different hazards and mechanics of the game to actually create some fun gameplay. So anyway, this is like, at least a somewhat mechanically complete level. You can play through it all the way, which is what I'm gonna do. So, also, normal maps on the walls looks really cool. This is just a level I blocked out. So, everything is just super simple shapes. But, this is gonna be the first level. Don't know why the camera is offset to the side like that, but you can lock onto stuff by holding L1 uh, on a PS4 controller. And that's how you find stuff that you can interact with. So you hit that sign as you hold X to jump. Whoa. And obviously the longer you hold X for the, maybe not obviously, but the longer you hold X for the higher button jumps, which means you can jump. Oh, that was close. But how do we cross this one? Can't jump far enough. That's sick. My favorite thing I've ever seen in my whole life. On to the next room. Golden chest. I wonder what that's about. Combat music. can't do anything with the chest yet. <laughs> I just kind of put it there as bait. But you can. <gasps> Go this way. Whoa. So sick. Whoa. What's that? So here I just built out a little platformy area so you can practice jumping and, and the rolling and the gliding mechanics. You can make this I think you can make, make this whole um, piece just by jumping, but you can also practice rolling because it only boosts you a certain amount. So you can kind of tell where you're going to land if you are if you practice it enough, which is pretty awesome. I mean, like, that's, that's skill-based movement mechanics. That's what I've been going for this whole time. So that makes me really excited. So now I'm up here. These flags just save your progress. I don't know if you can tell, but there's... In the bottom right, there's a little savey icon that spins. Kind of covered up by the gem counter. But that just saves your gem count right now. And what level you're on. So, if I want to, I can fly over here. Snag some extra gems. Stick. So I hope that gives you at least a good overview of how the mechanics have changed since I switched the game to third person. It's definitely a lot more like Wind Waker, which is funny, I said that was one of my original inspirations for the top-down prototype that I was working on. Um, but I'm a lot happier with this and I, I'm having so much fun playing the game that it just makes me want to work on it even more. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that devlog. I know I didn't go too much into any technical stuff, but like I said last time, this is the most fun for me. The devlogs are honestly just for me to help get my head around what I'm working on. Like talking through everything that I've done for the last week kind of makes me remember what I've done and what I need to do going forward to, to keep a trajectory of the game in the direction that I want. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you had a good day. I hope you had a good weekend and I'll see you in about a week.